Hi there! Well, a lot of people have been asking me if there's an app available for our mobile phones which we can use for a mouse or a keyboard so that they don't have to buy the wireless mouse or the air mouse keyboard remote. Well, there has always been an app available but it was always buggy and it didn't work as expected. But currently, after an update, it seems to be working fine at least on my Android device so I thought I shall make a video on it. Continue watching this video to see our step-by-step -step process. This is your friend texting. Let's get started. So I'm going to show you two apps in this video. For the second app, you're going to need the Aptior TV. So those of you who don't know how to get the Aptior TV, click the card up here to see that video. So for the first app, you take your Android phone, you go to the Play Store and you type Mi Remote and you'll see Mi Remote Controller, click install once installed, you first go to your TV and you make sure that your Wi-Fi it's like my Wi-Fi is Virus Hub and your Wi-Fi on your Android phone is the same Virus Hub, Virus Hub please make sure it's the same or it won't work so what we do is we go to open, click agree and hold on for a minute and you'll see Me TV living room showing up. So once you're done, you will see the interface of the Mi Remote app. It's quite similar to the Mi Remote actually where you have the D-pad and it goes up. Let's press the back button. We come to the main page. If you press the home button, it takes you to the home page, it takes you down, it takes you up, right, left and we have the power button here now let me tell you that this power button will only turn off the me tv you cannot turn it on so please be careful and remember that we have the menu option where you can open up the menu uh, there's a mute button which you can do mute the tv which was not there even on uh, the remote actually and here is an option to directly open your app the apps that you have installed so you can open them directly let's go to movies hd there you are you can come down you can come up and before any other option you come here turn the touch vibrate to touch off i frankly don't like it so i'm turning it off turn the display controls to on and use device keyboard to on come back and when you want to type something you turn the screen and you will see there's a replica mirrored screen on the phone of the me tv so again you can scroll up down you can come on search you can click on search here and you will see that the keyboard pops up so let's type something and there you go so you can type also using this app once you make it straight the keyboard goes away You can even turn it now and you will see that you can scroll. So you can use this as a mouse technically. So you can see it's moving as a mouse. So you can use that even for navigating when you are browsing the Chrome browser as well. So here's the Chrome browser. So you can scroll. Let's play something. Let's play. So there it is. Amazon Prime playing with the use of this app on the Me TV. So let's quickly even check out a game and see if the game pad works. So let's play. And here, I'm going to play this game. I'm using the gamepad. So let's turn it. Let's click play. Now, when this is the option, you come here and press. Now, let's see. I'm not too good at it, frankly, but just for demonstration purposes, I'm showing. Okay. 
the gamepad works absolutely fine on the Mi Remote app. So for those if this app doesn't work, I'm showing you another app and that will definitely work. So for the second app, we come to Aptio TV and we come on search and we type C E T U S and you'll see Citius Play, click on that and you'll find two. So make sure you come to the second one which says TV Remote Server Receiver. Install that. Meanwhile, on the Play Store, you also download the remote app, not the TV app, but the remote app and you click install and you download this one. Once this is done, you go back, back and you go to settings and in general, come down to keyboard and click Citrus Play Input and you go back. Go to the Citrus Play app. Once you see this, click OK, click Allow, click OK, click OK, press Back. Please make sure the Wi-Fi on the phone and the TV are the same. Click Open. So you're going to see Me TV here. And there's the remote. And it will even show that Citrus Play is connected to the Me TV. Let's go back and there you see it works. You press the home button it goes down volume down volume up you can also have a touchpad option so which i'm not a great fan of actually then there is other also another option of mouse mode brings you the mouse like an air mouse remote what else do we have? We have a numeric keyboard if you have to type some numbers quickly. And we have the gamepad mode which is in beta but we will test in a while. Okay, let's see the most important thing if how we are going to type on this. So we do the same thing. We go to movie HD and we come to search. There you see the keyboard has also now changed. So now we type justice back and we click send there you go so when you have to type or search for something it usually pops up on its own if it doesn't then there is a keyboard option even here if it doesn't just in case it doesn't so you can go up down right left absolutely similarly like the me remote app and you can type as well so let's play a game and see if the gamepad works And yes, it works really well. You can use this to type as a mouse and even as a gamepad. So it's a great app. So now there are two apps that you can use with your Mi TV. So I hope this video was helpful. Write down in the comments section and let me know if these apps worked for you, if they didn't work for you. Also, if there are any questions regarding the Mi TV, you can put them down in the comments as well. I'm planning to make a Q&A video on the Mi TV, so I probably will pick up the most asked questions in that video. Also, don't forget to like this video, share this video and subscribe to my channel for more videos like these. Until next time, cheers.